From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. A study has found that people who drink regularly have less risk of depression than people who never drink at all. Boy, boy, am I feeling depressed today. Oh, poor me. Poor, poor me. Pour me another drink. New Jersey pizza chain Villa Italian Kitchen has created pumpkin spice pizza. The spokesman says they landed on the perfect pumpkin spice pizza balance. It's a magical place where all the deliciousness of pizza meets the flavors of pumpkin spice. Uh, okay, we have gone too far with the pumpkin spice stuff, people. Pumpkin spice does not belong in pizza. In fact, there are a few other things I think we need to avoid as well. Here, here are five pumpkin spice things I hope they never make. Pumpkin spice flu shots. Pumpkin spice racks. Pumpkin spice old spice. Pumpkin spice pumpkin pie, because come on, let's face it, that would be redundant. And finally, pumpkin spice preparation H. According to a survey, about 60% of Americans say they don't exercise at all. The other 40% were too exhausted to fill out the survey. Think your pets can really understand you? Wish you could understand them? You just might in about 10 years. A report from Amazon suggests that the technology for a pet translator could exist within the next decade. Futurologists at Next Big Thing that carried out the study say there is a growing demand for such a product and that existing research suggests it's possible. The report refers to scientific research by North Arizona University professor Khan Slobodikov, who claims prairie dogs' sounds are distinct and decipherable, and he believes the sound of other animals will too. Slobodikov says that prairie dogs communicate in a sophisticated language and have words for different species of predator and can describe the color of human clothes or the coat of coyotes or dogs. He's convinced that his findings on prairie dogs will apply to other animals too, including cats and dogs, and he's uh, fundraising money right now to work on a pet translation device. Meanwhile, parents just want a translator so they can understand their teenager's slang. Speaking at the UN on Tuesday, President Trump delivered a speech in which he referred to Kim Jong-un as the Rocket Man and indicated that if things go a certain way, we may have to totally destroy North Korea. But other than that, it was a peaceful and happy speech. Now they're saying the reason Nicole Kidman didn't mention her two kids with Tom Cruise on Sunday night is that because of Scientology, they're not allowed to communicate. Gee, now there's a religion you want to be a part of! A study says eating a big breakfast is the key to a healthier weight, which is exactly why I start each morning with two sausage McMuffins and a large Coke. Hillary Clinton says in her new book that white women voted against her because their white husbands told them to. I'm told she came to that conclusion after getting dizzy from all of that alternate nostril breathing. You may not think of toothpicks as luxurious, but that has not always been the case. Centuries ago, royalty used gold and silver toothpicks, and Canadian entrepreneur Peter Smith thinks there's a business opportunity there. Smith's company, Danison, is now selling luxury toothpicks made from American milled northern white birch that come in six flavors – bourbon, single malt, ginger honey, lemon, mint, and cinnamon. The four-bottle pack starts at $25. With just 12 toothpicks per bottle, that comes to 50 cents per toothpick. But Smith is finding that people are willing to pay a premium price for his superior product. He says people are innately hardwired to want them. Have a great meal and finish with a great toothpick. Luxury toothpicks, because people will spend money on anything. A new study finds that today's teens mature slower than past generations because they are pampered by their parents. For example, colleges complain about late-night parking problems when parents show up to tuck their kids into bed. David Hasselhoff has asked a judge if he can stop making alimony payments to his ex-wife, who he divorced in 2006. So far, he's given her $2.6 million. Reading between the lines of his request, it appears the Hoff was saying, "...nobody's hiring me anymore and I need the money for alcohol and pizza!" Choose your friends carefully. They can make you fat. 
A recent study from Harvard Medical School in Boston concludes that obesity is contagious. Well, contagious in the sense that your immediate social network can influence your own weight gain. That is, if your friends are fat, you are more likely to be fat. The opposite is also true. Being around thin people inspires us to also be thin. Well, wait a minute. If that's true, though, then if I hang out with thin people, I might get thinner? But they're hanging out with me, so won't they get fatter? Apple's new operating system, iOS 11, is now available. Not to be confused with the terrifying I owe the IRS 11K. A woman in Ireland, apparently high on something, was found standing in the middle of a road, shouting at passers-by and paramedics trying to help her. When a female officer showed up to take control of the situation, the woman bit her, then yelled, if you can't beat them, eat them. She was taken to jail, where, ironically, she complained about the quality of the food. McDonald's is getting a new brand of apple juice for its Happy Meals, which has half the sugar and calories. Which has skeptics asking, is it because it's half the juice or twice the water? If you want to keep your teeth sparkling white and cavity-free, don't indulge in after-dinner or midnight snacks. The BBC News reports that eating food at night can seriously damage your teeth, according to a study from the University of Copenhagen in Denmark. Here's the kicker. It doesn't matter what you eat. A piece of fruit will do as much damage as a bowl of ice cream. Well then, I guess I'll be reaching for the haagen -Dazs. A new study finds that low-level nonviolent crime for dropouts pays an average of $900 per week. Huh. I don't remember them ever mentioning that at our high school on career day. Today's Daily Dose of Weird News is dedicated to my friends at Cross International. A single gift of $60 will feed a child for a full five months in Kenya and South Sudan. I made my gift and sponsored three children, but I'm only asking you to sponsor one. A single, one-time gift of 60 bucks. Call 866-822-4883 to donate now. That's 866-822-4883. Or give online by clicking the Cross International banner at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. And thank you in advance for being a generous weirdo. If you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and other social media to help get the word out. To become an official weirdo, click that subscribe button and click that little bell next to the subscribe button to be a part of the notification squad. While you're at it, click that like button to let the world know that you are an official weirdo.